back as we venture beyond Cato Living, we stopped at a newly rebranded cafe and bakery in Elysian. Lollipops was once known as Mama's Mercantile. It's right along Highway 60 with the building's expansion. The co-owners celebrated their new journey into grandparenthood. And they're excited to add a cafe and new community gathering space in the Elysian area. To have my own bakery. We didn't want to see it go away, and the previous owners, um, Kim and Audine Greenwald, um, we I've known them my whole life, and so they listed it back in August, I want to say, and I was the first one to text her and be like, what's going on with that? And so um, we just kind of started talking and found a baker and kind of all the things and just worked it out with them, and so here we are. Born and raised both of us in Waterville, Elysian area, so we went to the school here. Um, we live currently in Elysian, and we have a wedding venue called a Hava Cottage, so that's kind of our, you know, thing here. But I think, I mean, you heated drywall and paint for... A long time. ...years, and then I have a clinic in Mankato where I do aesthetics. So kind of entrepreneurs forever. So lollipops comes from, this is Leslie's idea, um, <laughs> we have our first grandson, he's seven months, um, yeah. and she's Lolly and I'm Pops, <laughs> so that's where the name came from. Lollipops is all about family, right? You heard about the name, you heard about where it comes from, and strong individuals create strong families, strong families create strong communities. <laughs> So basically the staple thing, we kind of kept the menu business as usual, just for the transition, you know, and this is what people know. Um, but we're hoping to add more catering and more baking and all the things. I mean, our baker does like really cool custom cookies and cupcakes and she does both, you know, obviously regular baking, but then she's also allergy friendly. But it's important for us to be able to offer some of the gluten-free stuff because sometimes it's hard to find. We like to eat healthy for the most part. Obviously we own a bakery. Um, so there's that. The balance. We have been working really hard at making it a protein coffee or iced coffee, um, even just blended drinks. Yeah, just a good gathering spot back there. It feels homey, like more of that coffee shop kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely be um, kind of adding to that space as we go. Um, yeah, we'll be doing big barn doors so we can kind of close that off. But then it has a little fireplace in the sitting area, so it's kind of nice to be able to just go back and sit back there. So the gift shop will look a little bit different. Um, it'll progress with time. Kind of see what sells, what we like, what we don't like, and just figure out what works for us. I'm excited to, like, we're gonna completely repaint the outside to kind of change the aesthetic outside too. trying to just, I don't know, put our twist on what was already a great existing business and kind of just make it our own. And um, yeah, so super grateful for the opportunity and for Kim and Adine. And we love Elysian. And I mean, just keeping this here, I didn't want it to change into something else because I think it's a great thing for the community. But also, you know, you have to keep things growing if you want to keep people coming. And so we'll change as we need to and change the menu as we need to and kind of go from there. Lollipops Cafe and Bakery is open Wednesdays to Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Sundays from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Doors open for the first time on March 6th.